Sunday evening, San Francisco hosts Detroit for the NFC title game. The winners, they're going to head to Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas, baby, on Sunday, February 11th. <laughs> It's almost here. Yeah. I'm going to be staying up late for that, so I'll be tired. Monday Me morning. too. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. a Super Bowl party. <laughs> uh, Commanders fans will be watching that NFC Championship game very closely. Mm -hmm. Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson widely considered the favorite to be Washington's new head coach. And the game features two assistant coaches also from our area. Melissa Millay spoke to one of them, Detroit's offensive line coach, before the big game this weekend. That is right. I went to school with Lions coach Hank Fraley and caught up with him for a little trip down memory lane Spanish class <laughs> when we were 15. You sat in front of me and you would pass me back plays <laughs> all the time and you would say all right here it is what do you do and I would have to decide how I'm going to like defend this <laughs> and you look at it and you'd say eh, that's okay and then you'd give me advice and say do this thing instead so do I get any kind of credit for your career at all? Everybody gets credit for my career. It's a, it, it took a lot of people to raise me. You know that. So <laughs> it was fun. I mean, we had a blast back then. And just just being around that area, that high school, and, and the people you got to meet and raise or grow up with in, in the sea and the diversity that um, Gaithersburg is, it, it's so awesome. It, it's definitely, it made me who I am today. Tell me how you feel going into this game on Sunday. Fortunately, I, I've done it as a player um, four times to get to the championship, but the first opportunity as a coach, and I've been coaching 12 years now. So our mission is, you know, to, to win this whole thing, and we have a great team, a great opponent that we're about to face this weekend, so uh, we're excited, though. I'm excited as a coach, um, and uh, the players are excited. Uh, the city's excited. Detroit, um, It's it's been a long time since we've been in this environment and such situation. And I know the offensive line has been a big part of the success and, and a, a lot of what you guys have done this year. How does that make you feel? You know, you're, you're kind of like a proud papa a little bit, you know, um, just being around those guys. I kind of, I try to put myself in their shoes, but I'm not in their shoes, you know, but I try to give them as much intel as they can, but don't overload them. Let them be themselves. Do you remember doing this, by the way? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did I have, was I to, had any talent or no? I think you would have made a heck of a coach. You would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him about the rumors surrounding Ben Johnson and the commanders and whether Hank might also return to the DMV in the near future. He said, of course, he's focused on the NFC title game. We would love to have him back. By the way, the other local coach in Sunday's game, 49ers tight ends coach Brian Fleury, went to Seneca Valley, but... Go Trojans. Go <laughs> Hank. Come on, g -Bird. He is just, he was the sweetest guy in high school. We were dear friends, and he is so, nice. so kind to have talked to us. Yeah. I texted him the other day and said, do you have a couple minutes? We'd love to chat with you. So nice to that say. That was very nice yes, that I he love, took that time. And I love that he was doing it at 15. I love when young folks discover yeah. their passion early. Yes, I'm like, what, Go. Hank, what is this? He was like, just do it. Just do it. Like, okay. <laughs> you know. I love that line where he said it, it took a lot of people to raise yes. him. Yeah. That was really yeah. yes. poignant. It's good stuff. And now yeah. we know why Melissa Belay uh, no habla espanol. <laughs> <laughs> She's busy She's doing busy passing yeah, notes in class. Guess what? I had my plays down. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that. That was good. I like that. You're welcome. Absolutely. Fun story indeed.